Hello everyone, this is Sharon here from 24-7 Techie and in this video we will be having a look at the LE1S. So it's written as LE Max on the paper in front of you but it is actually LE1S. There was a mistake uh, going on over there. So as you can see the display is actually 5.5 inch full HD screen and uh, it is sort of a bezel-less design. And this is the backside and it does have a fingerprint sensor and LEDV branding unibody metal design and this is the LE1S and we'll, we'll have a look at the phone so this is the right side of the phone so the power button and the volume rockers are at the right side so all together and the top side so the IR blaster and the 3.5 mm headphone jack and at the left side we have a dual sim slot and uh, no micro sd card slot and this is the usb type c and one of them is speaker and one of them is the microphone so it does look good this is the primary camera with single led flash and the microphone so this is the fingerprint sensor and this is sort of a glass fingerprint sensor and uh, company claims that it's one of the fastest uh, that is there and this is the chinese imea and everything and the top uh, and the top and the bottom of the phones are actually plastic so i tested it out and i asked it but it is plastic and it does looks good and does feels good as well and uh, quite a sturdy device so we'll just jump into the settings and have a look in the android version so it is android uh, 5.0.2 So we did ask about the marshmallow and they were like uh, as soon as possible. So this is the same uh, answer that we are getting for each and every company. And the CPU is Helio X10 at 2.2 gigahertz. So as you can see, it is the Helio X10 at 2.2 gigahertz. And uh, it is one of the best processor that uh, MediaTek has ever produced. And I am also a very big fan of this uh, processor. So we'll have a look at the storage. So it is 32 gigs of internal storage out of which about 23 gigs is available. So it's about 1.5 gigs of RAM is free out of 3 gigs which is also decent. So as you can see I have added a couple of fingerprints but I will also add another one so that I can show you guys the whole process. It is uh, pretty quick, not bad. So let's try it out. So the company claims that it will unlock within 0.15 seconds and I don't really think it's 0.15 but it is quite quick. So this is the control center that uh, LE has made. So we do have a lot of things over here, the brightness slider and everything so we can control each and everything from here and music controls as well. So let's have a look at the camera. So the fingerprint can uh, take photos easily and it is quite quick. So the shutter speed is quite good. So the front camera is 5 megapixel and the back camera is 13 megapixel. We did download the NT2 benchmark and also test out the 4G speed. So they did have a uh, Airtel uh, 4G uh, connection in this phones and the 4G speeds were working very decently. So as you can see, one of the app is already downloaded and the NT2 3D benchmark that is about 70 to 80 MB will be downloaded within three minutes and that was pretty good so the thing that i'm really liking about this phone is that uh, it is available for a good price for about eleven thousand rupees we do get a good package so we'll just quickly run the enter to benchmark and i will fast forward this video as fast as possible So it is finally finished and the score is about 53,200 which is very good and I am already uh, telling you guys that the Helio X10 processor does uh, performs very good. So it is an Helio X10 processor. And as you can see there are all the basic sensors present here not a, a lot of cost cutting. We will test out the back camera as well. So it is full zoom. My camera is in front.
and the pictures have turned out really good so as you can see it was in full zoom and we are zooming more and it is uh, looking very decent so all in all a very decent camera and uh, quite impressive phone for the price so from the person so from the personal experience point of view the conference was pretty good so they did uh, take a lot of time uh, explaining the Li Eco and the ecosystem that they are trying to build and that the smartphone is a small thing uh, in their big ecosystem. So it was pretty interesting to see what the company plans but uh, I'm not really very hopeful uh, what all will be coming. So they have announced that they have tied up with Eros International and Yep TV for providing us good quality content which will be available after Q2 of 2016. And uh, that is not really uh, that good because they have been teasing the LETV launch since a couple of months and now they are saying that and the content will be coming after more 5 months. So that is pretty uh, bad on that part. And when coming to the device, so the LE Max was launched and it was launched about 33,000 rupees. So a Snapdragon 810 processor, uh, 6.33 inch screen. I am not at all interested in phones over 5.7 inch screens. I really think that they are overdone. According to me, my personal choice, the phablet category ends uh, at 5.7 and at from 6 inch or the 5.9 inch, the tablet category starts. And a 6.33 inch phone is not really uh, very interesting to me. I may not uh, cover that phone a lot. First reason is this and the second reason uh, is the pricing. So one of the products were interesting. That's the product that I am surely going to cover. If I get a review unit, I will be making a lot of videos. If I don't get a review unit, I will be definitely buying it and doing a lot, lot videos because I was really impressed with the LE 1S. And frankly speaking, the, since the day they have been teasing that another device will be coming, I knew that uh, the LE 1S will be coming and uh, I wanted to buy the LE 1S. So I have been in contact with the LE TV team and they have been saying that uh, review units will be provided later on. So ho hopefully I get, uh, and, if I, and if I don't, I have been in contact with them and they asked me for the LE Max and uh, uh, they asked me which device you want and I've uh, and I frankly said that LE Max is not really interesting so I don't want it I want the LE 1S because it is actually a disruptive device that they have uh, launched so thank you guys for watching this video this was Sharon here from 24 7 techie sharing my personal uh, impressions and uh, and thoughts from the LE TV conference especially the LE 1S because I am not really very interested with the LE Max and please do subscribe to the channel because it helps us a lot and you will also not miss any of our content and do like this video do share this video because we are working hard and we'll really appreciate your support and i really hope to see you in my next video till then see ya